Okay, so once you have signed up with Weebly, you're going to log on to your account, and once you're logged on, you will see this screen. To begin creating your site, click the Create a Site button located here. You may notice a message up at the top of your screen regarding a pop-up blocker. Click here to allow pop-ups from this site. Always allow pop-ups. Now, I'll need to click Create a Site once again. You will now be viewing this screen where you will enter the name of your website. Also, you have an option here to choose the type of website that this is. In this case, I would select Education. You also can choose a category, teacher, class, project, school, informational, other. Let's put teacher and let's click continue. Okay, so here they're providing you with the ability to customize the website address of this site. For the free version, you'll have to use this first option type in the name of your website as you would like it to read. So it's my full name, Brian Dvorak, and the rest of the website address will be .weebly.com. So when I share this with folks, I'll say simply go to briandvorak.weebly.com. Okay, next we will click Continue. And now the editing section of Weebly loads, the Weebly editor. So here you can begin building the pages of your website. You'll notice you'll be starting off with the home page. And the first thing you might want to do is look through the design templates. You're going to do that by clicking on the design tab here. And here is a variety of templates that you can choose from. And you can simply click over here to continue scrolling through the different templates. Then you can click on a template and your site will immediately change to reflect that template. Simply click through them, find the one you're happy with. But remember, you can always change this later. Okay, so the next thing to do is to start editing your pages. I'm going to go back to the Elements tab and for this page, I'm going to begin putting elements on the page. You have to put an element on the page first and then add the content. So let's say, for example, I just want this to be an introduction of myself. I could use a simple paragraph with title element. I click here and drag and drop it down onto the page. Now I can click down here and begin editing. Simply click into the cells and type information. You'll also notice that you can use a toolbar up here to format your text. Okay, now let's look at adding a new page to your site. We're going to go into the Pages tab and we're going to click New Page here. Give your page a title here and the page name. The page name should reflect the content that will be on that page. In this case, I will be embedding content from another web tool called VoiceThread. So I'll call this VoiceThread and I will click Save. Now you'll notice after I've created this new page, Weebly has automatically created a navigation link to this new page. To edit this page, click on the link provided and now I can add an element to this page and add content. In this case, I'm going to be embedding a voice thread which comes from another source. To do this, I'm going to have to use the custom HTML. So I'll drag this down and now I need to go copy the code of the voice thread tool and paste it into this element. So I'm going to navigate to voice thread and 
I'm going to go to my voice threads. And here's one I've created. So I'm going to click into the menu here and go to okay, so Embed. This provides me down here with the embed code. I will copy it, come back to my Weebly site, click into my HTML element, and paste in that code. Now I simply click away from this, and voila, there's my embedded voice thread. Notice up here with your elements, you have a variety of other multimedia that you can add to your pages. You can add pictures, you can add video, you can add an assignment form for your students. Also, you can click over here on multimedia and add photo galleries, slideshows, files, flash video, a Google map, insert a YouTube video. Now, when you're happy with your site, you're going to need to publish it because right now we're just in edit mode and this is a draft. When you're happy with your site, simply click the publish button located here. Next you will see this window which tells you you've successfully published the site and it provides you conveniently with a link to the site. This is the website address that you will use if you'd like to link to your website from somewhere else or if you'd like to share it with others. And that's all there is to it. When you're finished, click close here and make sure you log out. Enjoy using Weebly for education.